here. Get out of here, Compy. <laughs> I love it. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming, and our main goal for this episode today is to set up some more tech uh, now that we have all of the tech Ingrams. Um, so if you didn't catch the last episode, we defeated the Alpha Dragon and did it uh, with flying colors, actually. We, we, did, uh, we did way better than I was expecting that we would. Uh, we did lose two Therizinos. Um, but, uh, yeah, we survived that, and we got all of the rest of the tech Ingrams. So, um, there's a few different things that I want to to do. Um, I'm trying to think, do I have, There's one thing I do want to update you guys on in terms of the reading. Let's take a quick look at that first, get that out of the way. Uh, I do now have a... Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. I just this morning, about 15, 20 minutes before I started recording this, uh, got a new um m6 mother so this mother has six mutations uh, melee mutations so if you look in the lower right hand corner you can see she has 12 melee mutations uh, so that is our most powerful dino when she grows up we're going to transfer the mutation onto a father and then take the father over to the barn and keep going there so we're doing good on on getting those mutations up uh, i'm not sure exactly how high i'm going to take the melee mutations on these but um, I, I want to I want to get them a little bit higher. So when we go into the um, uh, tech cave and you know do the the overseer fight, uh, we're we're hopefully gonna bring a gun to a knife fight. Um, so I I I I have no problem with be it that being overkill. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and turn on the replicator here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the rest of my armor set. Um, going and I, I think I'm going to start wearing the tech armor most of the time unless we know we're going into a really big fight because the tech armor in terms of actual physical armor is not all that great but you know just the advantages of everything else that it gives you is um, is really good so uh, let's see so we got the helmet and the boots uh, what we want to do now is we want to go and do the rest of the, the pieces here so Oh, we need to get element. Okay, so we're going to need 20 element for the pants, 20 for the hands, and 20 for the chest. Okay, so let's go grab 60 more element. Woo. And then after we do that, we're going to figure out where we're going to set up the the transmitter, because then we can just do the boss fight directly from there, and we're going to do it here in the base. Um, uh, yeah, let's you know what? Let's just grab half of that element because we're gonna we're gonna be using quite a bit of it today. And we also want to get the larger uh, teleporters set up too, uh, so that way we can teleport not only ourselves but our dinos as well. Okay, so let's make the pants, the hands, and the chest beautiful. Okay, so we'll put all this on here. And we need to charge each piece. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, let's put... Uh, let's keep maybe 10 of these in our inventory so we have... You know, we can fuel the armor pieces as needed. And, uh... Right, now... Um, so, I gotta remember how to do this. So, for the jetpack... If we just hold down the space bar once, and we just ascend. But if we double click it, I think we get a, don't we get a boost if we double click it? Okay, so this is just... Oh, okay, that's right. So, if I just hold shift down, then it, it's just normal, I guess what you call normal thrust. But if I hold the space bar down, then it then it kind of gives me like a little bit of an afterburner effect. Did they did they um did they nerf the speed on this? I thought this was faster.
Hmm, I don't know. It, it seems to me like it used to be faster than that. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't that doesn't seem to be really all that fast, but I guess that's the way it works, unless I'm missing something. Okay. It's kind of expensive. If you look in the lower right hand corner, you can see we've already burned through half almost half the fuel of the jetpack. But um cool. Alright. Now for the punch, uh for the gloves. How do we do that? There we go. Okay, so that's that's the right mouse button. And it has it has the you know the other advantage of launching you forward really fast too. So that's cool. Alright, so for the legs, do we just Okay, how do we activate the legs? Is it C? No. Is it V? X? No. Hmm. There's there's a super speed run mode. No, that's the that's the punch. Um trying to remember how to do that. <laughs> here. Get out of here, Compy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay, so let's see. How do we do the legs? Okay. Um, what ha uh, what had happened is I guess I had inadvertently um, unassigned the uh, melee key, which is control by default, and so that's why it wasn't working because I, I had earlier press control. Uh, so, yeah, it's basically whatever your melee key bind is. And then... Uh, you get super speed run, and you can also run across the water, uh, too, uh, while you're doing that. So that is very cool. Um, all right, cool. So I um, I wonder if it's faster. I want to I want to just try something here. So that tree, the the redwood tree that's that's way over there, like you know probably 150 200 yards away from us. Um, can I get there faster with the punch or the super run? Okay, let's try the super run first. Um, in fact, what I'll do too is I uh, use my stopwatch. Okay, here we go. Start. Stop. Okay, so that was about seven seconds, seven and a half seconds or so. Uh, to get there. All right, now let's um let's run back to the wall of our base. Okay, it's definitely not faster because it, it seems like there's a little bit of a a cooldown, and you can only go. It looks like you can only go a certain distance before. He punches. All right, so yeah, definitely um, faster to 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 use the super speed run, um, but not necessarily if you're if you're just going to travel a short distance, right? Um, if I wanted to just travel to that redwood tree um, and punch a dodic in the process. <laughs> Yeah, that's not doing enough damage on him. So so if you want to just move, you know, like, say, 20, 30 yards really fast, that's probably faster. But if you want to move long distances, then, of course, this is the faster way to do it. Um, it is draining down my element pretty quickly, though, too. So you'd have to have a pretty good supply of element if you're going to sustain that for a long time. Cool. All right. Well, um, that is uh, how the tech suit works. So we will be, of course, utilizing it uh, for the rest of our playthrough and enjoying it. Um, I'm also, you know, I had mentioned this in the last episode. I'm going to do a wild dino wipe, but there is a low level giga uh, right, at, you know, up on the kind of the northern face of the volcano. We could go kill it uh, just in our suit here. 
um, and with our, you know, with our weapons and just hover above it. Um, you know what, too? That's going to make, if we, if we wanted to do some kind of a knockout tame, uh, like if we wanted to tame a really high level wild giga, which I would still do if I came across one. Everyone I've ever find is like super low level. You know, we could just, we could just hover above it and just knock it out that way. Anyway. Okay, so the other cool thing is now I can just get right on up to my base with this instead of having to use a ladder. Though it does kind of seem to take a little while. I don't, you know, actually, I'm not so sure that that's faster than the ladder. Let's try. Let's time this too. Let's try just. We're just having some fun with tech, you guys, okay? That's all there is to it. All right, so here we go. We're going to click start. So if I just need to get back up to the base and then feet down, that was nine, about nine seconds. Okay, how long does it take to climb up the ladder? We got to remember, though, too, is we have to run up to the ladder as well. Whereas with the jetpack, we can start anywhere in the yard. Uh, reset. Okay, here we go. Well, I missed it. Hold on. Uh, stop. Reset. Start. Feet on the ground. About 10 seconds. Okay. So, I mean, it depends upon how far away I am, of course, too. If I'm, like, way... Out at the edge of the yard, the ladder and it, the ladder might be faster, but it's not that much different though. It's just like I said, it seems to me like the last time I used this jetpack in Survival Evolved, it seemed like it was a little faster than it is. Um, but I don't know, I might be mistaken about that. And as far as I know, I don't think there's anything you can do to make it faster. I don't believe the function of the uh, the tech, speed, that kind of thing has anything to do with, um, you know, your your speed stat. Not that you can change that anyways, or at least I don't have it set to where you can change it. Got a couple of misplaced ceilings here. We might as well grab those. Okay, cool. Um, hmm, I wonder, can I, um, can I get to my sap? I can, but it's a little bit weird. Unless we, what we did is we just landed on top of them. Whoop. <laughs> then I jump right back off again. I normally use my my grappling hook to, to get this. But this could work actually okay. Just have to kind of... Uh, I overshot it. Yeah, I think the grappling hook's still going to be faster for that. Uh, because the only thing, the way that I use the grappling hook is I just, I just do this. We get to here. Open that up. And then I just lower myself down to the, the lower one. Loot that one. And then we grab the next one. Go up like this. So yeah, this is a good way, guys, to have a whole lot of tree saps taps without having to build platforms for them. Just use your grappling hook. Works pretty good. Then we grab that one and then rinse and repeat. Uh, I actually found another tap in um, a drop too, so I got to put that up. And they're not that expensive to make. But you know, when you get to the point where you're having to make 200 veggie cakes to equip, you know, your, your theories, uh, you need a lot of sap uh, and you need a lot of honey and, you know, all the other stuff too. So, okay. Well, anyway, um, I'll, uh, I'll get the rest of this stuff later. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. This is so nice though, just for, you know, for moving across my, my tree platforms. I'm just, I so love this. 
I just wish, like I said, it was a little faster. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is I, I want to see. Um, uh, let's let's work with the teleporters next. Okay, so we this is the large teleporter. This is the small. This is the medium. I want to see what kind of dinos the medium supports, especially for Therizinos. If it's if it supports the Therizinos. Um, you know, then we don't we don't necessarily have to build the giant, the biggest one. At some point, we're gonna have to move Rexes around too, and and we'll probably need it for that. But uh, you know what else I want to do too? Let's grab some. Yeah, we're gonna leave the small one up here. Uh, I want to grab some metal foundations just to put it on. So let's go down here. I left one of these foundations here just because I had already lined it up. And I don't know how large these are either. Let's just take a look and see. Oh, that's pretty big, actually. That's a medium? It is a medium. Wow. Okay. Well, actually, do we need to put them on here? I mean, I, I'm sure we don't need to, but I th just thought it might look cooler. But let's just see what it looks like if we if it's standalone. Alright, so grab this. Oh, it has to be on a foundation. Okay, well that answers that question then. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this back out. You know what we might be able to do, though, is um, we might be able to... Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. For Pete's sake, really? <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Let me fix the mess. I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're back in business here. Uh, so what I was saying is we could probably just put one foundation down and then put the platform on top of it without necessarily having to create an entire floor. Uh, but let's make sure uh, that it's reasonably lined up with this door. It doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, but close enough. Maybe just another pixel or two that way. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, and then... Maybe we'll center it that way, and let's try this spot here. Except for, damn it, I wanted to, I wanted to sink it down. Maybe to about here. Okay. Now we'll grab the platform, and we can put it on top of that. Um, yeah, see, I don't like, I don't like how it's floating like that. So I think, I think we're gonna actually build a floor to put it on. It's gonna look, gonna look better that way. If the ground was perfectly flat, then you know, it'd be okay. But of course, it's not. So, let's go ahead and build an entire floor here. And I'm going to need uh, probably three more, right? Let me see it again what the width of this is. No, we're going to need even more than that. So, we're going to probably need to make it a at least a 4x4. Four four. Okay, let me go um, get that the stuff to make that. Oh, look, 50-50 bug, yay! Okay, so now we have a 4x4. Four four. Man, I wonder how lo how big the, the big one is. <laughs> it's got to be ginormous. Um, okay, can I get you not to snap? There we go. And I guess it makes sense to have the terminal pointing this direction. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, I think that's... That's pretty good. So let's put her down. 
I like the I like the red button. That is cool. Oh, that's not even a button. That's it. I guess you don't interact with it. Okay, cool. So, um, here's the thing, though. I'm trying to think of if we're gonna set up the transmitter, which we are. At the base. I don't know that we need to transport large dinos um, anywhere else. Except for we'll eventually need to transport them up to the volcano. But you know, to you know, to do the boss fights, we don't need to go to the obby anymore once we get the the, the uh, tele... No, what's it called? The transmitter setup. So, yeah. Almost wonder if we should... Well, you know, we got this here. I guess we'll... We, we might as well use it. Let's, um... Okay, we're going to name this Base Medium Tele. Uh, teleporter. Okay, because we have, you know, we have the small one up above. And I have to assume that this can at least teleport a Therizino, if not, um, you know, if not a Uteranus. But here again, it doesn't matter. You know what we could do, though, and probably should do, is we should set up another one of these, at least temporarily, over back at the Green Obby, so that we can bring all of the Therizinos that are there back. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll do that. But the next thing I want to do, though, is I want to get my, uh, I want to get the tele. Uh, why do I always get it mixed up? The transmitter, yeah, transmitter. Whenever I think transmitter, I'm thinking like radio, <laughs> radio transmission. Um, so I, I, my brain gets that scrambled with teleporter. Um, let's see about that next. Then I think. Um, and then, you know, good lord, look at those bats. Uh, then we have to kind of figure out where we're going to, um, where we're going to put it, too. So let's build it first, and then we'll have to kind of assess, you know, where we want it to go. I'd, ideally, I'd, I'd like it to be in our yard. But, you know, the other thing we can make is the force field thingy now, too. So we could... If we wanted to, we could put the, we could maybe put the transmitter somewhere out there and then put the force field around it. I, you know, I, I can move that little taming pin anywhere. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, let's make it first and we'll see how big it is. We'll go from there. So we want um, transmitter. We got everything we need for that. And let's also make the force field, which, oh shit, that requires a hell of a lot of black pearls. I I don't think I have any black pearls left. We're gonna have to go alpha hunting. Okay. Well, let's just grab this. Um. Let's just, let me just make sure I don't have any more black pearls. I normally would keep them in here. We have three in there. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have any in here. Definitely shouldn't have any in here. We have to, um... Uh, we have to level up a new set of sharks anyways, so yeah, we're going to have to go alpha hunting. That is the best way to get pearls in quantity, black pearls. Um, you can get them, you know, from like the Eurypthids and the Trilobites, but that's only onesie twosies. Uh, okay, so I guess we won't be doing the force field yet until I can get a hold of some more black pearls. But let's... um. Hmm. 
What if we set this up on a tree platform? Now there's a thought. How big, how big is this thing? Okay, it's not, it's not huge. If we were going to set it up on a tree platform, um, we could possibly use that tree right in front of me. I don't think any of those trees over there are, are thick enough for a platform. That one beyond the gate probably is, but that's even further away from the base. Um, or, ooh, here's an idea. We could, we could put a second platform up above this one and have it up there. What would be, oh, you know what? I don't think that's a good idea because most likely the area that will will teleport you know the bubble it'll probably also teleport things below it so yeah i don't think that's a good idea we need to have it somewhere where it's clear so that tree right there would probably be the best candidate for this all right what does it take for us to make a metal tree platform all right we should be able to make that actually in the, the replicator and much quicker. And then you know we can we can put a we can put a teleporter up on the platform just to move the dinos up to it. And we don't have to worry about like having a bridge or anything like that. And we don't have to worry necessarily about having a force field. Um you know because it's off the ground. There's still RGs we'd have to worry about. Uh, okay so we want to build a metal tree platform we are short 600 fiber okay I've even considered seeing if we can figure out a way to put the replicator in our crafting room it's just I don't know though it's just so big and it's loud too yeah we might be able to fit it in there I don't know I'll worry about that later Okay, so let's make one of these. And I think we said that tree there. I wonder if we would be better off keeping this one higher. It'd be less likely to have, um, you know, RGs. They still could get up there, but the, it, like I said, it would be it, the higher up it is, the fewer. And I really wish there was a way you could get the edges to line up. But if we're going to use a teleporter to get up here, anyways, this kind of doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, we'd, we'd have to be super, super careful not to pick this up. You know what we could do? We could just slightly damage this, and then the game wouldn't let me pick it up on accident. Probably, how could we do that? We could use a rocket or a grenade. I don't want to, like, major damage it, but it does have 100,000 health. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think that's a good idea because I, I'm not planning on putting foundations on this one like I have the other ones, and I don't want to risk uh, potentially picking it up. That would be a disaster. Do I have any more grenades in here? I do. Okay. I'm assuming this will do less damage than the rocket would. Mm. 
Okay, so did that cause damage to this? It did. Perfect. Okay, so this will not allow me, and it barely scratched it too, this will not allow me to accidentally pick this platform up until it's repaired, and I'll never repair it. Okay, good solution. Good solution. In fact, you could probably do that for... There's no reason why you couldn't do that for the wooden ones either. Um, if you didn't want to put the foundations down. The thing about putting the foundations down, though, is it makes it a little easier to, to build stuff. But... Um, okay, cool. So now next question is, can we put, can we put the trans, uh, transmitter down up here? Yep, we can. Um, do we want to butt it up against here? And then put all the dinos in a semicircle around it? Or do we want to hold it about halfway out so we can. Hmm. It needs to straighten up this way a little bit. I'm kind of thinking we probably want it. Up against the tree, as far in as it'll let me put it, which is about to there. And then we just semi-circle the dinos around it. Hopefully, yeah, that could get a little crowded. Uh, right about there. And is it powered? Yes, it is. Okay, well, you know what? That's another thing I didn't even consider is if the... Generator would reach it, but it does. Okay. Yeah, I completely didn't think about that. All right, so this will allow us to go to the boss fights. Uh, and also, you can also use it to trans uh, transfer to other arcs, too. Um, you, know you know what I might actually do? Well, you know, once Scorched Earth comes out and... Um, the center, which by the way, if you guys haven't already heard the news, the center is actually coming out in February now, which is awesome. I love that map. Spend lots of hours on that map. We could still keep this world, right? And I, and I could do a cluster and that way we can use, you know, this to come back and forth. So something to think about. I guess the other consideration too is when we do start those new worlds, you know, do I start over from scratch and build up or do we keep our same character and i haven't i don't know I, I don't know the answer to that question yet we'll have to see uh okay so i don't think we'll have too much difficulty getting therizinos around this thing but bigger dinos like rex's that could be a bit of a challenge the other thing that i don't know is i don't know what the range of this is does it do we have a range option I wish it kind of showed you, oh wow, look at that, kind of showed you what its range was, because how are you, how do you know if your dinos are at range of it, you know what I mean? Hmm, yeah, not sure. Okay, well, let's turn this off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build uh, another medium teleporter to put up there medium yeah I'm definitely going to have to go black pearl farming for sure okay we'll put the teleporter on this side and I might, I might actually put some, some walls up on this or maybe even enclose it all the way. Uh, just to keep dinos from, you know, falling off of it and critters out of it. If we cover it, then we don't have to worry about RGs at all. But uh, this, I think this is the exact opposite sided, right? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this this is here. It's kind of hard to say for sure, but. Yeah, this line right here is. I I think wild card should put a, an are you sure you want to pick up this platform. Um, option. So that way we don't have to damage it first to make sure we don't accidentally pick it up. Okay, so let's just bump that up right up against the tree. It looks pretty even to me, actually. Just right where it is. Of course, it's got to rotate. Nice. Uh, okay, let's get out of K mode. All right, we're going to call this um, tran uh, transmitter teleporter. Is it? Oh, it's not powered. Uh, I don't want to spin materials on another another generator. Let's let's see how you know what the bounds of this are. We might be able to actually move the generator closer. Yeah, see, it's just, it's only covering half of this platform. So we would need to move it. Another 50, 50 ish feet or so that direction. It, it goes way, way off over into, you know, the riverside and there's I can't I can't think of anything that I'm gonna ever build over here. So as far as the range itself is concerned, we can certainly kind of suck it in a little bit. Here, I don't want to get over by those bats or they're gonna attack me. There they are right there. Okay, so yeah, we need to move this generator over. Uh, because I, I don't wanna have to run two tech generators, nor do I want to spend the materials to have to make another one. So the question now is, where do we put it? We could put it in the barn here. Um, we need to move it. Yeah, we need to move it quite a ways over this way. It's, it extends a long ways out into there, which I probably will never, you know, build either, uh, build in either. So I'm almost thinking we move it into the barn here. What we could do with this one is we could move it over to this side. Okay, yeah, let's pick this up. Okay. Now... Move the tech genie over here. Um, yeah, that should work. Okay, let's take a look at the range. It's not covering the entire platform, but as as long as it's touching part of the teleporter it should be powered yeah I see I see lights on it so I think we're good nice all right so if we go uh, base medium tele oh you know what interesting this doesn't show the small teleporters so you so you can't teleport from a medium to a small that's very interesting 
Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to see if I can teleport a Therizino up there. I should be able to. I'd, I'd be baffled if it wouldn't let us do it. There's no reason why not, because the platform is larger than the dino, right? Transmitter teleporter. Hey, 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 look at that. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. You know, the other thing we could do, too. Oh, Parappa the Rapper came up here, too. The other thing we could do is we could actually extend the platform out another tile or even two if we needed to just to have, you know, enough room to get everybody in here. Um, again, it just, I just, I don't know what the radius of this is for actual, you know, transmission. So I guess what we'll do is we'll try it the first time and we'll see how it works and, um, you know, adjust if, if we need to. Okay, cool. So that solved that issue. All right. This, uh, yeah, we're not, not done leveling this guy up. So, or gal or yeah, gal. Uh, so we got to go back down. Okay. So now, um, I don't know that there's a whole lot more we can do at this point because I'm out of black pearls. Um, I <clears throat> I need to make. Well, actually, you know what I could do? I could take. I could take the medium teleporter, pick it back up, and take it out to the green obby. To bring all my guys back here. Yeah, um, because I don't have enough. And, you know, once we do that, we don't need to keep the teleporter out of the green obby because we don't have any reason to go back there. So I don't, technically, I don't even need to make another medium one. We'll just, like I said, we'll pick the one up that's up there and just use it to bring all of our dinos back here. Oh, you know what, though? I don't, I wonder if it works for the UD. Well, I'll tell you what, if it doesn't work for the UD, I'll either just ride it back or I'll get it with the Quetzal. So not a big deal. I'm going to look at uh, one more thing here. So, um, teleporter. Yeah, see, we're out of we're out of black pearls. And again, I, the more I think about it, we, we don't need to make another one of those. Um You know what I would like to do though is have a I'd like to have a small teleporter at the swamp cave and one at the ice cave assuming we can trans or, or teleport berry onyx because those are the dinos that we use um let's test that real quick so let's get on captain caveman here Let's move him forward just a little more. Okay, so his feet are completely on there. Can I... Uh, oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, come on, Ark. Why... Why can't you teleport a Baryonyx on a small teleporter? That's stupid. I think this is just going to teleport me. Yeah, okay, shit. <sighs> All right, well, that means that if I'm going to teleport Baryonyx's back and forth from Ice Cave and Swamp Cave, uh, I'm going to need mediums. Uh, what a pain in the ass, man. But I guess, I guess on the other uh, hand, we'll, be able to, we'll actually be able to recoup this generator once we're done here anyway. I guess on the other hand, um, we're not m moving Baryonyx's back and forth a lot between those two locations, so I guess it's not a big deal. I don't know. I'll have to think. I'll have to think about that. We'll have to see, you know, what what makes the most sense.
All right, guys. Well, anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And um, I'm going to grab our other medium teleporter that we have, um, you know, up on the tree platform we just set up. Take it over to the green obby. Bring all of our dinos back here. Uh, and the next time we do a boss fight, we'll just do it from our new transmitter up there. Um, and then uh, probably the next move is for me to get some some sh new sharks bred up and then take them out, get them leveled, and at the same time farm up some more black pearls. Uh, because, man, this tech stuff is expensive when it comes to black pearls. And then, you know, we'll kind of go from there. Uh, and like I said, I'll have to... I'll have to see if I um, if I want to set up medium platforms at the you know the two cave locations. And I, I, oh, you know what? I wonder if the Thyla Kaleo. I I doubt it. The Thyla Kaleo is bigger than the Baryonyx. Uh, because I want to actually, you know, we're going to have to run the Northeast Cave, the Carnal Island Cave, with Artifact of Devourer on a regular basis as well. It's just too damn bad we can't teleport a Baryonyx on these little ones, but... Yeah, there's no way it's going to let me do this. Let's try it anyways. Yeah, see, if it, if it wants me to rename it, that means it isn't going to work. Okay, well, it is what it is. Um... I, I'll, I'll probably put small teleporters, though, at the, the caves we're going to run regularly. Just so I, at least I myself can move back and forth easily from them. Because, you know what, we'll keep the critters mostly there anyway. Alright, guys. I, um, I actually ended this episode, and then after I ended it and did some stuff, I realized that we forgot, uh, or I forgot to uh, do some storage. I wanted to also uh, include... Uh, making some tech storage in this episode too so we're going to extend the episode just a little bit longer um i did a couple things off camera i i ended up moving the replicator down to here and then i made sure that i could still get through here with the uteranus which i can which is the largest dino that we would need to get through there um and the reason i did that is because i want to use this replicator for crafting most of our stuff moving forward just because it's so much faster um so what we want to do, though, is, of course, we want to set up the tech storage. The cool thing, there's two cool things about the tech storage. It, I think it has an infinite, it can store an infinite quantity, or at least a very large quantity of material. And secondly, you can pull directly from it, which is really even the better thing about it. Um, so what we can do, depending upon how large the storage is, is we can just line them up along this wall and maybe even along this wall if, if they're not so big that we can't still get through here and then we can just pull stuff directly from it um, you know when we're making things and we don't have to manually move things so that's just going to be fantastic uh, so all right let's go ahead and start this guy up and to make the storage let's go ahead and track that we'll make one first just to see how big it is I put a lot of the things on Mojave here um, just because I had to move stuff around can we get all of this over back into here for the moment except for the metal itself okay so it needs 125 metal oh I also went and got um, all the dinos uh, from the green obby and have them uh, I've got them up on up there so we'll take a quick look at that I'm gonna I, I am gonna extend this platform so I'm gonna make you know some more metal ceilings uh, because it's just as you can see there's not a whole lot of room left <laughs> uh, so the plan is to extend the platform and also you know we'll, we'll wall it in too if not completely enclose it so I'm not exactly sure how well this is going to work, you know, with the transporter uh, or the uh, transmitter rather. So what we'll probably do is, in case something goes south on us is we'll probably go into maybe Gamma Megapithecus, you know, one of the really easiest fights, just in case something does go wrong to make sure that it actually works before we 
you know, use it wholesale. Let's go into here and we want to make our first, oh yeah, we got to get element in there too. So let's make our first storage unit. Oh, that takes a while compared to some of the other things this thing crafts so quickly. I'm hoping these things are not real large. Okay, so let's see what kind of size we're looking at. All right, that's not bad. It's about, really, it's about, actually, it's even smaller than the, uh, in terms of its depth, anyway, smaller than the, uh, these guys, the vaults. Okay, that's cool. Um, all right, so what, what I want to do is I'm going to have to move these vaults out of here and all the stuff that's in them. Um, because my plan is to just make a whole wall of these storage chests. And then what we can do is, you know, we can just, you know, kind of hover um, and to access the stuff up higher if we need to physically access it. And, you know, we'll put the things that we're going to access more frequently down below um, so they're within reach. But we're really only going to probably need to... Um, put stuff in the chest because pull it, when we take it out it's just going to be pulled out by the uh, you know by the crafting all right let's turn well actually hold on a second how many of these can I can I currently make with what I have left black pearls is going to be the main uh, thing that's going to stop us uh, well yeah we're going to need crystal too but I got lots of crystal so let's just see how many of these it's heavy, man. Uh, we'll see how many of these we can make with what we currently have. Because, like I said, I'm going to have to go on a big black pearl farming expedition with my uh, my sea army to replenish the black pearls. So we can currently make nine more of these. All right, let's just make all nine of them. Oh, the other thing that I did, too, is I put my other small teleporter down here the one that I pulled back from the green obby uh, because it just made sense that way when we need to get up topside we just do base platform this one's called base ground and boom we're there so and it just made sense to do it so that way we can get back up here really quickly from the ground okay so let's see you are currently making these and what I need to do is I need to there is so much stuff in this vault. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to. I actually have to kind of think this through a little bit. Do we have enough room? Here, let's. Um, if this was sitting right here, I could. Still kind of get through there. It's a little jank. I suppose what we could do is just remove this doorway. And yeah, I could still get through there because, you know, you can only, I think you can only put one item in these. So we'd have to, we're, we're probably almost certainly going to have to completely fill up this wall and maybe this wall too to get that all to work. So it's a little bit tight, but I think it's still probably doable. Um, but we're not necessarily going to, I mean, we are not actually going to put everything in here that, 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 you know, everything you can possibly put in here. So if I, for example, oh, ooh, so maybe you can only... Interesting. So it looks like maybe you can only put resources in these. So that would suggest then that we don't need, we need to cover resource items, but we don't need to cover all the other stuff, you know, like all the tools and weapons. So it looks like we're going to have to continue to keep those in a vault anyways. But I would imagine things like stone and metal and that kind of thing we can put in here oh wait a second okay deposit what wait where did it go oh 
Oh, it's in there. But we can't. We can't actually see it in here. That's weird. But I can take. Okay, so I can take 10 out. Or I can take the entire stack out. That's interesting. Hmm. All right, so let me think this about this. What if we... Maybe we don't have to remove these vaults at all. Maybe we leave them exactly where they are, and we just put the tech storage along here. Can they stack? Are you kidding me? You can't actually stack these? Why the hell not, wildcard? <laughs> That's ridiculous. We can't stack these? I can't believe that. Uh. Oh. Yeah, okay, we can if we have snapping on. Okay. I was going to, like, say, what in the hell? Yeah, so here's here's the deal. I think we leave these leave this exactly as it is. And we just put resources in here that, you know, that we're going to use frequently. So metal, wood, fiber, uh, cementing paste, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, so if I take then and put the metal in here, and then I come to here... Um, there should be, there should be a way for me to, right, let's pull the metal back out of there. So let's say I want to make another something or other. Uh, I want to make another teleporter. So it looks like it's just going to automatically pull it. I don't have to click a button to pull it. All right, here, let's do this. Let's grab all of this stuff back out of here. And let's put element in here. We'll put submitting paste in here. Crystal in there polymer and black pearls in here okay and then if we want to make the teleporter yeah it's just going to directly uh, I'm going to make another one of these anyway so let's just do it oh that is cool man so it just automatically pulls from the thing I don't even have to push a button to pull it first like you know the S plus pulling oh that's awesome that is freaking awesome, man. Okay, so yeah, here's the deal. We're not we're gonna leave these exactly as they are. Um and I'm only gonna put resources in here that we're gonna frequently use. Um so we have already put, you know, the most of the tech gear requires these six items. So we'll put those in there, and then you know, as I get more resources, I'll add a few more. We'll probably want to Actually, here's another question. Can we... Let's try something here. Does this work with the industrial grade stuff? So, for example, if I take all of this poly and put it in here, and then I need... And then I want to make something that requires polymer. Um... Let's go ahead and do... That requires... Okay, well, we could just do... Yeah, let's learn the assault rifle. I'm going to respec again several more times, so it doesn't matter. The points don't matter. Uh, just like, uh, whose line is it anyways? Okay, so it doesn't work with this. 
because see it says I don't have the 60 polymer that I need so it only works with the tech replicator but the tech replicator can make everything that this can make and much faster as well as the smithy so we're probably these are pr pretty much obsolete I don't think we're gonna we won't use them anymore um ammo that's another thing can I make here let's uh let's go to bullet Okay, can I make bullets in here? Yes. Um, so yeah, th these are, I don't think we need these anymore, unless I get to a point where I'm completely out of element and I can't run that, which could happen, of course. So yeah, we're gonna pretty much just use a replicator from now on for everything that we make, just because, it's, again, it's just so much faster. Very cool, I love it, man, I love it. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to, like I said, come back and show you guys that so we could kind of complete our, uh, you know, our, our our working with the tech. That doesn't mean we're completely done working with it, of course, but uh, we have done a much of the more functional stuff uh, with the tech. Of course, you know, there's a lot of building stuff, too, um, like all of this. And we might, we might play with some of this at some point, but I'm more interested in... You know, just the func the functional stuff than I am the aesthetic stuff. Until, uh, unless and until we get to a point where we just have element coming out our ears kind of thing. We might make a few of these things just for funsies, but for the most part, you know, we're still going to continue to work with metal and glass for structural things that we make. Very cool. I This would be kind of neat to try out this moon pool thing, though. And, uh, it's, uh... It's not seriously expensive. I don't know how big it is, though, either. So that'd be kind of neat to make a little underwater base. Maybe we'll do something like that at some point. We'll see. All right, guys. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya.